Hi. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so welcome to another discussion on the elements of living. I hope you've been enjoying this series. It's been really fun for me to talk about these elements of living that I've been playing with for a while and, and have it start contributing to other people and their lives and businesses, to their families and to their bodies. Um, Every time I kept asking, was it time to talk about it yet? It was a no until it was a yes. And so I'm glad it's finally a yes. And we get to discuss this and play with it together. Um, if you're here today and you're watching, go ahead and say hi. I'd love to know that you're here. Um, if you have any questions about any of the other elements of living that we've talked about so far, you can pop it under this video or under the videos of the other ones we've discussed so far. They're all pinned as of right now in uh, at the top of the group, but I'm actually gonna start putting them in like an album for y'all as well. So today's um, element of living are the door openers. Thanks for voting and, and putting your opinion in the post um, that talks about some of them. I've listed a couple of them that are pinging right now for our group. And then you get to choose which one is the one that I talk about. And the one that gets the most votes is the one that we do the video on. So today is about the door openers. And for all of these elements of living, just a quick reminder, um, they're all about being aware of energies that are within you, that you have, these gifts and capacities that you have, and also where maybe the people that you're interacting with have these types of energies going on in their world. You know, if you have children, if you have a partner, if you have a business associate, and this is something that's going on with them, or this is an energy that you can activate and use more consciously with those people in your life and with your body. Always, always with your body. Um, the awareness of this came from my own personal experiences, came from what my clients have told me over the last, you know, 15 so years, um, have come from family and friends and what I've seen with them. So, um, I'm really excited to talk about the door openers. Uh, the door opener is one of many of the category of elements of living, of the archetypes of living and dying. So just a reminder, the other categories are influencers, distractors, there's the door opener, there's the discoverers, outlaws, the powers, and then travel and different landscapes and spaces is a whole other category. Um, we talked about dreamland. Dreamland falls under the different landscape and space. But then we talked about the star seed, which falls under a different category, right? So with the door openers, I'm going to be pretty broad. Um, but if you'd like to know some of the specific examples underneath it, uh, underneath what a door opener is, let me know. Um, as you ask more questions and you're willing to receive more, like your questions, let me know how much you're willing to receive. We can talk about it more. Um, I love, love honoring where y'all are at with this. Um, hi, Anlag. Thanks for saying hello and for being here. So door openers, uh, this, all, of these, all of these elements of living that I'm talking about are from the living and dying body process as well. So what people have said as they've been receiving sessions of the living and dying body process that I created. And if you haven't gotten a session yet and you'd like one, let me know. Um, the... Door openers have total awareness and choice around what doors need to be opened to create more and what doors need to be closed to create more. So it's both. It's not about open, 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 and then you have the floodgates and then you might be full of all kinds of stuff that isn't actually true for you, like you know everyone's thoughts and your pains and sensations and you're aware of other people's bodies and their anxiety or depression. Um, you don't want to open the door to that because that's not going to create more. And that's what I used to do. I used to be like a walking container of everyone's stuff. Um, some of you have heard me talk about this, right? That I was like, I'm full of everyone's stuff and I don't know how to empty it out. And then I started learning how to empty it out. And this is one of the things that does that is being able to be like, all right, I'm actually one, not going to open the door to that mess. <laughs> but also I'm going to open the door 
So I'm going to close the door to that mess and I'm going to open the door to my gifts and capacities with awareness and my gifts and capacities with the earth and with bodies and with communication and ooh, that, whatever that would disclose. Like you got that energy of that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, oh, and hi, Caroline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, so door openers are amazing. And one of the things that I find is if you're kind of stuck and you, you've had a sense of, oh, there are some times where I've opened a door and I've walked through the door. Because that's the other thing. You can open the door, but are you willing to walk through it and take the action based on your awareness that it's going to create more? Or are you just going to be like, oh, wait, that's open. There's some breeze. And I get a, a little bit of peaks of what's through that doorway. But then I'm not actually willing to like receive totally what's through that doorway. <laughs> um, 